Yep, so this is the uh, audiometer. Uh, when you open it, you'll find your interface box with all your connections, um, your speaker, your headphones. That's your connection, oh, sorry, that's your um, response switch for the, for the person doing tests, and that's your connection with the computer and your software. So those things will be there for you. Okay, so connecting it up is pretty straightforward. Uh, your headphones, you just pop that in here. Your response switch for the response is just here. And your connection to the PC is just here. And this is powered by the USB, so you, once you pop it in the computer, um, it powers the unit. That's when you put the CD in the computer, uh, the first thing that will come up will be uh, to choose a language, so just choose English. The next thing will come up will be the install the, the software, so just uh, click on install. Uh, the next thing will come up, the wizard to get it started, just press next. Uh, agree to all the license agreements and um, so select the license agreements and then click next. Um, asking for destination folders, program files, all that sort of stuff, no problems, go ahead, next. Um, it's going to say it's installing that for all users, so go next. Uh, steady, ready to start, so away it goes, it only takes a couple of minutes at the most to load the software. Once it's done, uh, installed successfully, uh, just run the software. So once you're in, you can now start creating patients. So you go to the Create Patients icon and a new window will open and then you fill out the details of that patient. Uh, I've just created a person here uh, with, with the necessary details. Um, the optional stuff, again, it's up to you whether you want to do more information, but you, know, you can put the annual hearing test, and the company they work for, all that sort of stuff. Once you've got that all in, um, you can now click on to do a test and uh, and it will come up here. So the details of the patient is all in there. Um, I've created the, uh, the automatic testing, so I will then uh, launch the test, so test launch. And as the um, as the launching is going on, it will it'll show you the response time that the patient gave uh, based on the, hearing the sounds. As the, as the whole test goes on, um, they will respond based on what they hear. And when it's complete and you're happy with it, just save the autogram, press OK. You've got the option, once you press the OK, to put more notes in um, if you felt necessary, and that will come up in the report. And once the, um, you can then select the uh, to print option and that will actually show the report that's there and uh, and then you can either print that or you can save that as a pdf document in the settings you can uh, make a lot of changes one of the things that a lot of people ask for is uh, restrictions in the uh, not the types of frequencies that are being tested so the minimum requirement will be 500, 750, 1000, 1500, 2K, 3 and 4K. Um, you can switch those off. Uh, by default they will be on, so I've actually already take, taken them off. And the types of diagnostic, you've got Normal or Houston Westlake. Um, Houston Westlake is one of the preferred styles, so I've selected that. And you can uh, change the uh, type of sound, you can actually have it pulsed or continuous and you can set the uh, the frequency that you want to start working from so going starting from the base uh, up to it but you could actually uh, start at 1.5k so just making sure they're all okay uh, that's for your standard and automatic tests and you've got manual tests you've got settings there as well um, scenario settings uh, you can you can make all those sort of adjustments quite easily so uh, adjust to your own personal desire and just press OK to uh, to accept those.